Jamestown Township is a town of about 10,000 people in Michigan where a recent success took place. And I want to tell you about it because I like good news. And um, so some observant members of the community there noticed the library section, specifically the selection that was geared at young adults, and it included Gender Queer, a memoir. And it's a book that tells the heart-wrenching story of a coming-of-age person who's non-binary and includes illustrations of sex acts. And then there was Spinning, a graphic novel about a teen girl and her attraction to other girls. And then there was Kiss Number 8, another graphic novel with similar themes. Naturally, the decent people of the town protested. They demanded that the books be removed, which seems rather reasonable. And the books were not removed, but they kept on putting on pressure. The library director, Amber McLean, resigned this spring, unable to take that pressure. She said she'd been harassed and accused of indoctrinating children for obvious reasons. Then the interim director, Matthew Lawrence, resigned later. But still, the books weren't removed. Actually, one book was removed, but the others remained. So then, when it came time to fund the library via millage tax renewal, the townsfolk said, no, <laughs> no, actually, you don't get the cash to indoctrinate the kids. And this is a really unique approach. The library is now likely to run out of money sometime late next year. See, the voters rejected the tax renewal by a 25 point margin. That's 62% to 37%. And on that same day with the votes, right, the those same voters approved the millages for road improvements and the fire department. They weren't just trying to save cash. They had good priorities. And they were very specific in where they were okay with their tax revenue going, with the tax, their tax money going. And it's really just kind of great to see. So... A group calling itself Jamestown Conservatives passed out flyers at the town's Memorial Day parade ex explaining what was really going on, how they don't want their kids to be indoctrinated, and how people should therefore vote to defund the library by refusing to, you know, approve this renewal of funds. And they had success. And obviously there's outrage amongst the LGBT community of that region and the former director, actually he's the former interim director, but anyway, Matthew Lawrence, he said something to the press that I thought maybe we should kind of take a look at. He said, quote, I love my country and I believe what is happening is going against the First Amendment. The people who need the library the most can't vote because they are children, unquote. Now let's just take a quick look at this. Firstly, um, pornography is not defended by the First Amendment and if you look at very early rulings by the Supreme Court, um, it's simply not. Regardless though, the more important part of that quote was the second half, where it referenced that the people who need the library the most can't vote because they are children. Well, I'm glad we agree here that children need the library the most. Given that, let's get rid of the books with the degenerate sex acts. Can we do that? Because that sounds like a really good reason to clean up the library. You know, see, we actually agree on something. And Jamestown conservatives have basically given the library a kind of ultimatum. If you want to be open, if you want to be funded, clean up your book co collection and we'll hold a new vote on funding the library after that happens. And I think it's fabulous. Honestly, I do. I think this is, this is a demonstration of how if you get involved in the local you know, town politics where you live, you can make an actual difference in the lives of the people of the area, in this case, in the lives of the children in your community. So uh, good for them. And this seems like a model that people could follow. So it's awesome. Wait, don't leave yet. I have more videos for you to watch. One of them is recommended by YouTube because you know how well it has built a profile of you. Yeah, and the other one's my most recent video so that you haven't already seen. So you can find something that you might enjoy. Also, there are links in the description below that'll help you to support the channel if you're so willing. And really, who doesn't want one of these mugs?